can the Prime Minister clarify what level of threat it was believed Mr Skirpal faced at the time of the attack and what security protection, if any, was deemed necessary for him and his daughter? Mr Speaker, this morning the Conservative Chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee said I'd be surprised if the Prime Minister did not point the finger at the Kremlin. The Honourable Member for Tonbridge and Morling also accused the Russian government of behaving in an aggressive and corrupting way in this country. Mr Speaker, we need to continue seeking a robust dialogue with Russia on all the issues currently dividing our countries, both domestic and international, rather than simply cutting off contact and letting the tensions and divisions get worse and potentially even more dangerous. And Mr Speaker, we're all familiar with the way huge fortunes, often acquired in the most dubious circumstances in Russia, sometimes connected with criminal elements, have ended up sheltering in London and trying to buy political influence in British party politics. <laughs> Meddling in elections, as the Prime Minister put it, there has and there has been over £800,000 worth of donations to the Conservative Party, to the Conservative Party from Russian oligarchs and their associates. So, so, Mr. Speaker, if that is the evidence before the government. Even before the investigation into Salisbury is complete, the government could be taking action, could be taking action to introduce new, could be, could be taking action to introduce new financial sanctions powers. But instead, Mr. Speaker, they are currently resisting Labour's amendments to the Sanctions and Money Laundering Bill, yes, which could introduce yes, the so-called Magnitsky powers. So will the Prime Minister agree today to back those amendments to the Sanctions and Money Laundering Bill? More specifically, Mr Speaker, when it comes to the... Order, order. There can be strongly held opinions and inflamed passions, but I do appeal to colleagues whose sincerity and integrity I don't doubt to remember that we hear views. 